Yeah, I'm doing a video on my car. You got to do what you got to do. Um, so a couple of weeks ago now, um, I finally got a chance to watch Netflix's Dracula. I call it Netflix's Dracula. It's actually probably BBC's. I don't know how all that works. Um, I'm pretty sure BBC probably produced it and aired it in the UK. And then, um, and then and Netflix had the rights worldwide kind of a thing. It was produced and probably written and directed by uh, Stephen Moffat and Mark Gaddis, who, if you watched BBC Sherlock, those names should jump right out at you. Of course, they were the guys behind that show. I think they may have had something to do with Doctor Who, too, but I don't watch Doctor Who, so I don't know a lot about that. But Mark Gaddis, in particular, I know, is a big horror fan. Uh, he did a documentary show, probably for the BBC, I don't know, I want to say mid 2000s mid to late 2000s um called like a history of horror or something like that and it was really good so if you can find that you should check that out too um but he's he's definitely a like a, a student and a fan of horror and probably especially like the classics and a lot of the hammer stuff and all that of course being from the uk so needless to say when i heard that those guys were involved and of course mark gaddis i was i was pretty um pretty anxious to see the show and of course it being just dracula just that i was going to watch it no matter what um, it, it stars Clay's Bang, and I don't know if I'm saying that name right, but that's, I think that's how you say it, Clay's Bang. I think he's a da Danish actor. I, I don't know anything else he's been in as Dracula. Um, and Dolly Wells, I believe her name is, and she's kind of the foil to Dracula in the story, Sister Agatha. And they're both awesome. Um, Clay's Bang's version of the, of Dracula is totally different from any other one I've seen before it. Um, uh, he's very witty, uh, a lot of jokes, talks a lot. Uh, which every other version I've seen of the, of the character, you know, um, usually a lot of mystique, uh, very quiet. Um, he, he's totally different in that regard. When he when he goes vampire, um, I, I you definitely see a lot of Christopher Lee in there, because um, Christopher Lee, whenever he played Dracula, he often didn't say anything, but when he turned like vampire, he was just like a vicious monster. His eyes would turn red and the fangs would come out. It's kind of the same thing when when um, when Clay's bang. Um, kind of goes goes vampire i guess you could say um but when he's talking he's very witty very funny um and and he talks a lot and it, it kind of makes sense with the storyline so uh it's 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 interesting it's different um i haven't seen a dracula like that before and sister agatha's great too uh that character um she's a great she she stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with dracula um she's also very witty of course i guess that's because of you know who wrote the show uh you know being gaddis and um I can't remember the other guy's name right now, which is pretty bad. Stephen Moffat. Um, they wrote, like I said, they wrote Sherlock, and there's a lot of great dialogue in that show too. So not surprising. They've made some tweaks to the story. I think they all they're all fine. Uh, just small tweaks. Uh, pretty much, if you've seen any kind of in incarnation of Dracula, or you've read the play or the book or anything like that, um, you're gonna feel right at home with this. Like I said, there's just some slight tweaks here and there because they've kind of changed the story a little bit. But it follows most of the same beats. It's Dracula uh, meeting Jonathan Harker at his castle, um, taking the Demeter um, to Whitby, England, and then um, um, in London. So it's basically the same thing. What I thought was neat was that they actually do a whole episode in the Demeter, and most other incarnations of the show, uh, sorry, of the of the story that I've seen, um, you don't really know a whole lot of what went on at the Demeter. You get it from like third party account kind of a thing. Uh, this whole has a whole episode just on the Demeter, which was pretty cool. So it's yeah, it's it's three episodes. Uh, they're each about an hour and a half each, so it's kind of like a movie every time, um, which is again pretty typical of these productions. Um, and each of them has sort of a, a, an interchangeable, like a different cast. Like the, the characters, like I said, of Sister Agatha and Dracula are in each episode. But then um, depending on the setting of the three other episodes, it has like a totally different cast each time. Um, and they're all good too. I don't remember any of their names off the top of my head, but there's some really great actors and actresses in there. Um, just can't, can't think of any of them off the top of my head, but um, they all did a great job. So yeah, uh, all in all, I, I really I really liked it. Um, it. Like I said, it takes a little bit of liberty with the regular story, but I mean, how many times have you seen a Dracula story? So at this point, if they change things up a little bit, that's always good. So yeah, all in all, I really I really enjoyed it. Um, it like it has it has the flavor of of the Universal and the Hammer Productions in there. You can kind of get that get that vibe from them. Um, there's even lines directly taken from from the original story as well, but from those films. Um, and, and there's a, actually a scene at the very end, which is dir taken directly out of, uh, one of the Hammer, uh, Dracula productions. So, um, it's, it's a really good show. I, I would definitely recommend checking it out. At least check out the first episode and see if it's something you'd be interested in. Um, and like I said, slight tweaks, but I think it spices it up just enough. Uh, I've heard rumblings of a season two. 
Um, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I know that Clay Spang said he definitely wants to play the character again, so might see some more Dracula in the future. I know that right now, uh, I think Blumhouse is doing a Dracula, and I think I, I, I even saw the other day that uh, Shannon and Swift, those guys that wrote uh, like Freddy vs. Jason and uh, the, the Friday the 13th remake, um, they're involved with some kind of a, I think it's like Jason Momoa is a vampire. I don't know if he's Dracula or not. And um, I think Peter Dinklage is uh, Van Helsing or something like that. So there's a couple of different Dracula-esque or vampire um, stories um, coming out in the next little while, different versions. But I think this one's worth your time. So you might want to check it out. I, I, I think I give it three and a half stars. I think it's a pretty good show. And um, I'm, I would be looking forward to some more if they do some more. But either way, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. I hope you enjoyed. Cheers.